if you use um, uh, effective data sets when combined with skilled professionals to start to look at the way kids are working earlier, we may be able to de decrease that time substantially, which means much, much uh, far more effective use of educational resource at an earlier stage. And we know if we can uh, support kids more effectively early, the, the end outcome of that is, is uh, transformative. So there's reasons why we want to explore this type of innovation. The problem is, is if at any point we lose control of the data or we lose uh, our moral compass in the process, um, then the outcomes of that could be quite dangerous. So again, that goes back to that tension that we want to maintain around the, uh, but our data is quite chaotic. And so exploring that in and of itself, if the expectation was that data was going to become openly available, then we start to get, uh, we start to enter in an area that makes us uncomfortable. But if as part of exploring it, we have an information sharing agreement with a skilled group of academics at, at local universities and they're doing the ethical reviews and then out of that they're uh, systematically not only analyzing the data but relating it back to context and all, if all those processes are happening then I think we have some really powerful ability to um, to use data in transformative ways but that's based on really structured data sharing arrangements more than it is uh, sheer open data type approaches.